Hey guys, I uh, just want to give you a, a, a brief video overview of how to add images to the different categories for the Montgomery Art Guild. Also how to uh, maybe add another gallery. Uh, Warren, I think you probably already know how to do this. Uh, but then also how to edit the, the tagged information like the titles, the medium, etc. So I'll start with the very first. So uh, you go to squarespace.com and go to the login area, click on login, and it's going to take you to the basic thing. We're going to use the art guild Montgomery at gmail.com. The password Megs2100 exclamation mark if I typed it correctly. And once we're there, you'll see we've only got one uh, domain or hosting service that's provided. It's right here. We can click on this to edit the site. And uh, so it's already set up. We can certainly, uh, you're free to edit anything you want. We want to go make sure we go to the pages area. You can see the links that are here already on the left. Uh, if you have more categories, you want to redefine those, you literally could go to those and edit them. We go to pages. And by the way, the pages that I have down at the bottom, they're kind of uh, in progress, so to speak, for other pages I was working on uh, for the future if we want, once we go for the whole website on Squarespace. So uh, let's just go to oil painting. If you'll click on oil painting, um, you will basically see the images here that have already been uploaded. If you want to replace those, uh, you can basically hit this gear the plus if you want to add others, if you want to delete a, a, an image, you just click on the image here uh, and you can remove. It's simply down at the bottom, you see this, it's just, it's really that simple. Just remove it and uh, then you can go back. All right, uh, to do the editing of the text, for example, I think I hit this gear on that particular page. Yeah, this is where you do the categories uh, on the nav the page title. That's what appears up here in the browser uh, tab, oil painting, Montgomery Art Guild. And then I put a bullet space oil painting to make it feel like a subcategory without making the text smaller. Uh, but that's the navigation title that appears over here on the actual navigation sidebar. The URL slug is actually going to be the name of the HTML page. You can't have spaces, you can't have capital letters. So sometimes this does this automatically for you, or you can. I always try to make it practical. So this is oil painting. I put oil dash painting. And there you go. I'll close that. Uh, if we're going to go to an image, you can collect, uh, select the images here, each one once you've uploaded them. And uh, you can begin to edit. Um, let's see how we did. I'm trying to remember. I think like Starry Night, if I was trying to edit that, I would click on the image over here in the sidebar on the dashboard click on the gear. Yeah, this is where uh, it shows the image. The title is right here, the starry night. You can't make it bold that I know of. There may be ways to do that, but I just put quotation marks to help. And then the description could be anything here. I don't know if there's a limit on how much text or how little, but you can do that. I think that's all you need to do. Um, let's see if there's something else. Oh, if you want to make this image clickable to go to somebody's website or something, you really could say, like click through right here, you could actually uh, select a, a URL address. And then if you click here, you can actually go to a specific page on it if you want to. But I'm going to close that out. Really, that's all you do. Let me go ahead and edit this one just for example. So we've got this page pulled up. It's oil painting. Click on the image. Well, actually click on the gear that's above the image that means to edit and then I'm going to call it the starry night number two uh, Vincent Van Gogh I'm just going to change these so you can see what's doing it's a, let's say it wasn't oil but it was a uh, egg tempera And let's say we made those changes, okay? That's good. And then you just simply have to hit save. And it's thinking just for a moment. Then we go back. Uh, the next time I click on the actual gallery here, uh, you'll see that it's now 
over here in the bottom right corner is Starry Night number two, Vincent Van Gogh number two, Egg Tempera Medium. You see the changes are made, and you can scroll through those. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to actually remove these, okay? So I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to remove these because you'll eventually do that. You confirm it. Yes, you want to remove it. Uh, click on the image. Remove. Confirm. Click on the image. Remove. Confirm. Let's say you're starting to scratch. You have no images. And it basically starts. It says this collection is empty. Click here to add your first item. Uh, you can have multiples. For example, if you've got a folder set up because people have been sending you their JPEGs uh, already and you've got, say, 10 art pieces, you just click there, go to your desktop, the folder, wherever it is, and like here I've got drawings. I, I just call them drawing and oil painting. I can't remember what I call them. Let's say it's photo. So I've got four here, and I, I multiple selected them on a Mac. You just, uh, just shift and select them all, and it will upload them here. And then they'll appear here, and you just go edit the titles again. So uh, don't forget, after you do the editing, you always have to say save. Always save or apply. Uh, here again, I'm going to go to this one here and name it. I click on the gear button above the thumbnail, the image editor, the content, drawing, sample, one, description, And that's how you do it. Simply that. And say save. And when we click on this image now to zoom in, you'll see the content right here. All right. I hope that helps. Talk to you later.